This video will show how you can use multiple textures and materials on your models in Unreal Engine 4. It's a very simple process and I'm going to be using 3D Studio Max in my example. If you're using Blender or any other 3D application, feel free to follow along, but I can't promise you that the steps will be the same. The general knowledge and the general idea of how this is done is going to be the same, but the tools I'm going to be using might be different. I'm going to be showing you two ways of doing this. The first one is going to be the preferred way, which I do recommend that you use. And the second one is going to be an optional way if you want to do it a bit more quicker, but in the long term, it's not going to be as useful if you want to go back and change things. In my scene, I currently have a couple of blocks which all share the same texture and material. What I want to do is to be able to change the side texture and material on these blocks. And I can do that by adding a second element to my models within Unreal Engine 4. And I will do that using my 3D modeling application. So let's get right into it. I'm going to open the scene with my model. Select my model and make sure it's converted into an editable poly. This will allow me to change and manipulate the model even more. I'm going to select elements, select the model and make sure the polygon material IDs are set to one. The reason to why I'm setting the material ID to one for the entire model is because I want to start with one single material element. I always recommend that you reset the material ID to one if you're going to be using multiple materials. What I'm then going to do is to select the polygon tool and select everything but the top side of the model. I'm now going down to polygon material IDs again and setting this to two. This will ensure that the top side of the model will have a single material element and all the other sides will have a second material element. I'm now going to press M on the keyboard to open the material editor and drag in two standard materials. I'm going to name the first one to ID1 and the second one to ID2. You don't really have to name your materials. I'm just doing this to be a bit more clear in the video of what is going to be what. I'm now dragging in a multi sub object and I'm then setting the number of materials to two. You do not have to change the set number of materials in the multi sub object, but it's a good way to keep the editor clean. I'm now connecting the materials to the multi sub object and then connecting the multi sub object to the model. I'm now changing the colors in here to show you how it would look on the model. So you can see material ID 1, which is pink, will be on the top side, and the purple blue like color will be the rest of the model. I'm now going to select the model, go to export, export selected, and I'm going to overwrite my previous model. I'm going to save it as an FBX and press OK. In Unreal Engine 4, I'm going to go ahead and import the model. And you can now see that I have two different elements, element 0 and element 1. I'm going to drag in a second material onto element 1. And as you can see, I have now changed the side of the box. I'm now going to be showing you the second method. I'm going to go back to 3D Studio Max. And in here, I'm going to open up the material editor again by pressing M and I'm going to remove the multi sub object. I'm going to select the entire model with elements and set the material ID to one. It's now just going to be one single pink material. However, if I select different sides of the model, I can now go ahead and just drag in the material onto the model on the red side, and it's going to change into that material accordingly. And that's the second way of adding multiple material elements. I'm going to go ahead and export this out as I did previously. And as you can see now, in the editor, it looks like this. I hope this video was helpful. Have a good day, and I'll see you soon.